working as intended. Jesus. <laughs> All right, back to the fire and ice slaying in the, uh, what is it, forest maze now, right? All right, so now we got to come up with uh, a party to take on the next couple of bosses. Is there also a rare spawn that I missed? Waterfall! Is there any rare enemy you can meet in this section, I think? There, giant trees seed. Random level 31 enemy. Man, you is overpowered. But anyway, that's all we came here for briefly. Alright, so spot, there's one uh, stone damage by that's against wind, and that's what we bring Mystia for. Does anybody else have wind attacks, though? It can be debuffed, heavied, and silenced. But not poisoned, so Riggle's kind of out of it. And Minotico makes for good uh, support just because she has so much, uh, what is it, nature resist. This boss can be debuffed too. And we spent an hour getting everybody re-equipped. Alright, let's try with this party. Alright, average level 25. So I think that's this one up here to the north. Run away! Oh, it's hard to walk around here. All the roots and ivy here makes it hard to get a good foothold. Might be my imagination, but the growth of vegetation in this area seems to be fiercer than normal. Which, uh, here's why. What would this be? Oh yeah, this is Patchy's Philosopher's Stone. The surrounding plants are growing at an absurd rate, too. Looks like it's enhancing the plants around here. Alright, let's finish up this quickly. Let's get some speed-ups. Get its attack down. Then again, I think it uses mostly magic. I'm gonna reduce its speed, though. Ow, oh, that's actually not too bad. I'm gonna debuff it some more, though. Get all the debuffs out on it. Tear it as well. Debuffed. Jerk. More debuffs. Debuffed. It doesn't even do much damage. Just start doing wind damage. Damage. More debuffs. How debuffed are you? You're quite debuffed. Should just use this for fun? Yeah, it doesn't even do that much damage. I think this boss has high defense. Lose all your speed. Pierce your defense. Debuff your speed. Or give you silence. This guy's getting all the debuffs. Getting all the defense piercing. Yeah, you have some defense up. You probably want defense piercing things like this. Alright, that wasn't that hard. Also, items. Alright. Another stone get- and that's that, we're collecting them at a good pace. A stone that aids the growth of plants. Perhaps the library's magician could lend a bit of it to subterranean people. Plants don't grow well there. And she's pretty stingy, so don't expect much. She gets mad just from me taking a few books from her without saying anything. Yes, stealing people's things does usually make them mad. What this? Party's money plus 5,000. I need to start saving money too, because there's another super event coming up. I need to buy something for like 30,000. This, 36,000. Oh, this gathered down 60 enemies. I really hated caterpillar pictures and insect books. Was it just me? <laughs> Alright, next is weak to physical. I happen to have a pretty good physical attacker here. And here. My problem is, how's your mystic defense? Don't have many mystic boosting items, huh? Guess that means this is gonna suck. Just pile on damage right away and see how much damage I can do. It's weak against physical, so... Average level 27. Alright, I believe this one's just north of where the FOE was. The other 27 is Alice. Why does you have so much TP? Well, I guess stamina. No, run away! Alright, is this it? There seem to be a lot of fallen trees around here. Most of our trunks have deep scars as well. What could have happened here? Oh, here's why. Philosopher's Stone. Even someone as distant from magic as me can tell how much mystic po its power is emitting. Can magic really make humans or monsters go crazy enough to turn this place into something like this? I ain't liking that glance he gave me when he said that, but anyway, magic shouldn't have that property by default. I guess the monsters around here are just kind of weak to it? It's quite an interesting topic. Whatever the case, we should recover the stone post-haste. We'll finish this in a flash. Buff your speed. Ow! Okay, well there goes, there goes, uh... Uh, what is it? <laughs> there goes Aya immediately. Whoa, 12,000 damage. Whoa, they're just, get fucked! <laughs> Did it. The stone looks to have settled down. You should be a bit late to be complaining about this now, but Patchouli sure pushed something real annoying on us. Used to bring this back now, let's go. 
Got Fluster Stone Magic. Alright, well that was easy. Patchy, I think we got them all. Truly, here are the Fluster Stones you asked us to get. Got all five of them here too, take them. My, you really do have all of them. Thank you, you've been a great help. I'm glad I asked you to do it. How's Tarring? We'll be heading back to the inn for a rest then. Name will stop, hold it. But truly, from what we could tell you tell from finding these stones, you've been strengthening them quite a bit. Yes, it was no easy feat either, what about it? These stones have had their magic strengthened to a large degree and even have uh, autonomy implanted in them, imprinted in them. On all f uh, five of them, in fact, it must have cost a lot to do that, hmm? <laughs> Giku. <laughs> what do you mean? Gee, where did you get all the money for that from? When we first spoke about you helping to strengthen us, you told us that it requires lots of items and medicine, so you'd be charging us for the materials, right? Are you saying I shouldn't be compensated for my time and effort? Don't try and deceive us, sure you should be compensated for the time and effort you put in, but there's no way that that, that time and effort is equivalent to how much these stones have been powered up. Besides, I've known you for ages. I know how you already have the pockets, your pockets restrained by your books and magic. There's no way you'd screw all, way, all your savings on this kind of frivolous expense. So, but truly has been ripping us off? Mukyu. If you thought I'd get to see magicians like, a magician like me with your scammer prices, that's your fault for underestimating me. Oh dear, your honor, what should what should her punishment be? How about getting her to explore the great tree with us? I hereby sense the duty to etc, 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 effect immediately. Miss Name would tie her up. No, I hate walking! And do you think we like wandering around for no reason either? Almost done! Just here and here remaining. Alright, culprit apprehended, and that settles that. Mookyu! Got a patchouli! Alright, I'm in money saving mode. Alright, we've got another magician to capture. One who's weak to cold and wind. Neutral in nature and physical, though, so I think this party will still be fine. Heavily resisted mystic, though. And fire, so Utsuho would be kind of useless. She can be poisoned, though, so we could add a wriggle. And I need to protect it's mainly physical. Don't have time to physical resist stuff. I do have enough. Pro Neutral probably has enough defense. She's got like 800. <laughs> Alice is also level 27, boss. Average level 27. I hope she just doesn't kick my ass instantly. Hello! Hmm? Ah. Uh. It's Alice's doll, huh? So we haven't- so we haven't seen things then. Guess you haven't learned from experience, huh, Alice? Naturally, you won't get away with destroying my remote dolls types 1 and 2. Fool, you shouldn't know by now that the whole mess of floor 4- After the whole mess of floor 4, dolls aren't gonna slow us down. We'll finish this in 40 seconds. Er, what? Suddenly dolls! Something more popping up a lot more. That's simply relying on their strength, numbers. Let's see you finish this in 40 seconds. How many you got? Bring them on! I'm gonna summon your dolls. Suddenly dolls. Let's get you debuffed. Alright, how much damage is this gonna do? Coldness! Coldness! <laughs> there go all your dolls. Summon more. Water! Deep up your speed some more. Ow! I just took care of like all your dolls. Getting you to be healed up a bit. Ow! Debuffs. Get you poisoned? Hurry, poison! More poison. Suddenly, dolls. <laughs> Suddenly, no more dolls. <laughs> Ow, and paralysis. There goes your last doll. And you're getting your ass kicked. Suddenly dolls. I was get fucked up. Yep. Dolls! Dolls are get debuffed. Dolls get natured. Did it. Suddenly items. Satin woven purse. How's that? Serves you right. As I thought this amount of dolls was enough to win against you all, it was a good try though. You two are really tiresome, can't you just apologize and can't you just get married or- No! No way! I don't know about the puppeteer, but Marisa was never going to be so mature. Can't argue with that. By the way, this doll is very well made, it is very exquisitely detailed, and the western clothes are splendid as well. Especially here, these double layered fills with a line of lace embroidered below them. My, you have good eyes. I suppose that's an items merchant for you. The face is quite adorable as well. If, if it could move autonomously, I'm sure many people would want one. Oh my, is that so? If you target groups with weird hobbies, you could probably charge a lot for it too. There's nothing weird about those hobbies. What's wrong with people having their own interests? Though admittedly, I'm not particularly interested in dolls myself. But thinking about it, your idea can work. There's quite a lot of doll parts around after that fight. Hey, hold it. Stop that line of thought right now. I worked quite a bit to make those dolls. Give the parts back so I can repair them. You threw the first punch and lost. What right do you have to complain? If you really want them back, then you'll have to repost them home. Like joining our exploration, for example. A little extra wouldn't hurt either. And if I don't? So you don't care about what happens to your precious dolls? Feel free then. F 
fine. I just need to join the lot of you, right? Honestly, how, how did wanting to test the abilities of my dolls against monsters end up like this? Exploration party members plus one. Stand by at the village for instructions, if you will. Oh, fine, whatever. All right. Get another debuffer. And this next boss, also weak to uh, physical. Let's bring Alice along. Physical magical attack. I guess we should get her powered up a bit. I right, so can silence heavy debuff this boss. And we want level 31. Average level 31. Alright, it's so this one up here, right? 31. I think we said, did you cut some of the roots? Yeah, we cut something that looked like one. Did it help? Pretty sure it did. Look at the roots of this plant. Oh, it's gone to big gray. Looks like attacking is truthfully objective. How many can you have you cut? Two of them. Look at the amount of roots below. There's probably two more roots left. Please hurry up and cut the rest of them too. Oh, fine. Oh, we have to find two more roots in the next floor. Alright, Sable, let's go take a look in this chest. What's in here? Elixir of Mages. Ashura Blade. Tome of Insights. It's actually a decent weapon. Might as well stick with it. Alright, we'll get a return thing. And start uncovering the floor. By giving things all sorts of water. Well, this thing's strong. Grotesque pitcher. Dead ends. Wee water! I see a glowy ball. Glowy ball of hate and pain. Just running around butchering everything with Nitori. Reveal everything on the map. Alright, what's here? Look at that ivy, looks familiar? Well, this is an ivy. It's gotta be a root from the insectivorous plant that got me laying. Alright, Yomu's turn. Yomu, you're up. Hi, hi. What are you doing? Suddenly, random naked dryad. Wee! All right, over to the treasure. What do we find here? Eight hundred and eighty money. Boop. All right, let's come back here at higher level. Suddenly, Mister Midnight Oil set. Open three locked treasure chests. Yay, treasure! Spellbook, High Hurricane. I won't need to the attack first and just murder everything. <laughs> No I had turns allowed. That's for boss stuff. Wee water. More jumpy pads. Things that can survive a single hit from Nitori. Must be pretty strong. Lots of ways going back. Murder. Treasure. Chariot boots. More speed. In exchange for attack and magic. Something something I need in her life. Treasure. Symbol of faith. At least the normal enemies here are really easy. Easy experience grinding. Alright, how well can Alice do here? We got a chitin shell times five. Tripwire. More treasure. Magician's proof. Obtain special item. Book that records the methods to effectively make use of mana. Unlocks a subclass magician. Mana is something you can just you can now just throw away. We tripwire. Whoops, didn't you go that way? <laughs> You're getting booped with tripwire. Get paralyzed too. You're getting tripped up. Get a lapis lazuli light. My last tripwire. Suddenly staircases. Drizzle all over the enemies. Hero's medal. Back to start. Back to exploring. Suddenly different passageways. More passageways. That was with pretty good experience here. No stay away ball of hate. <laughs> Made it here though. Oh, a face I recognize. Oh, a voice I don't recognize. And we're really? Am I really someone he's so easily forgotten? Ah, it's you, Suwako. Oh, we heard about it from Kanko. You're doing your best to get back your dignity as gods and revive your shrine? Eh? Ah, right. Yes, that's it. Yes, that's our aim. His girl really didn't give much thought into it. No matter how you look at it, she just she came here just to fool around. They're gonna get caught by Sana and forced to return really quickly. No, that's wrong. That's not it. We've been really diligent about investing a tree to resolve the incident and not playing around at all. It's true. It's true. Also, Kaneko actually gave some thought to why she came here, even though it was a bit twisted. You, on the other hand, no, no. First of all, it's Kaneko who's been lying about being diligent. After all, it's Kaneko who came here together with me, saying that we wanted to look good for humans was just the front she put up for you guys. And that's it. That's the truth unveiled. Is that so? Don't ask me what goes through a god's head. I really can't understand the reasoning. Being human or a god doesn't really matter. Once you've lived for centuries, you'll become like this too. Living for centuries is impossible for humans, you know. 
Well, that's how things are for me. I don't I don't want to go back so quickly, so I can't have Sanai catch me. I came across Sanai here around here not too long ago. It's a good thing she didn't recognize me. Sanai came as far as this place too. She did. Look, we can't we haven't played. I mean, investigated enough yet. Can't you just take Sanai with you since you're on good terms with her? You know, since you're both humans and both shrine maidens. Hmm, I can't stay here any longer. Just keep Sanai back. I want to reach the top before Kanako most of all. Well then, that's all from me. Bye bye. That's how much Sanai has to deal with. For the first time, I feel bad for that girl. Yeah, I get it a bit too. Ball of hate is in my way. Can I go this way away from Ball of Hate? Man, those guys have a lot of hit points. More treasure. Stone of Awakening. Boop. It's gonna be in trouble with the Ball of Hate, isn't it? <laughs> FOE is following me. Oh, this way to treasure. Lambda Driver. Go away, Ball of Hate. Dang it. I should head towards the southeast. There's one more path over here I didn't take. This way. It's only that big jar of nature that uh, has troublesome hit points. Everything else here is pretty weak. Wee water! I'm sure fire would do, do fine here too. The pitcher. What, like in baseball? Alright, what do we got here? Ephemeral bobble times two. Wee water. More water. And more treasure. Treasure chest key. Reveal the map, get everything. That's how you properly play RPGs. Teleport spot. What this? What's the thing is blocking your way? Yeah! I gave you a scare. Give us a heads up before we start cutting things. Look, as soon as I cut them, they just pop right back up. There are sure are a lot of plants like these around here. To try a different approach. We can try to find their roots to cut them down a little like the time when we tried to free Mei Ling. Let's walk around and see if we can find anything that looks like their roots. It'd be nice if it'll work out like that. Big Ivy enemy. Ivy League. Exclamation appeared in the north end there. Wee. Man, Nitori is so good. Huh? They move right here. Another one of Ron's gates. That's it. Uh, it goes from around here to over there and then from there and over there. Hey, can we really not step on it? Don't no, that thing that will only bring us trouble. You're always like this, Marisa, hearing that something is prohibited just far as you up even more to do it. As expected of you, Namely, you understand me so well. With that said, I said don't. Huh. <laughs> Idiot. My last waterfall. Get some more treasure. Kukri. Don't get that treasure. Game's trolling me again. Trip you guys up. Is there no way back from here? I guess this is the way back. So many different passages here. Let's get around the ball of hate. Back to tossing waterfalls. Get trapped by FOE. There's storm still more stuff involved with this map reveal party. Not much here though. Suddenly plants in the way. Unless we have biggest sword ever. Let's go check out what's going on up here. Ivy things. Oh no, hi Sana. Oh my, we meet again, yeah. Mm, you're a good son, I'm being able to come here by yourself. That's where I was starting to get difficult by myself, though. Good grief, I just, I'm just i sure I heard Lady Suko's voice around here just a while ago. I have to get back to those two back as quickly as possible. Mighty Sadeh, but did you happen to see either of those two? Yeah, we saw them not too long ago. One on the lower floor and one on this floor. There's no chance they'll return to the shrine, though. They've been telling us that they still haven't played in, uh, no, no, they're still doing their best to regain their dignity as gods. Dignity as gods? What do they mean by that, I wonder? Huh, what was Kanako saying again? The humans of Against All can't really develop in the whole faith thing or something? Things like Soul Go resolve that incident, get back her dignity, and get a bunch of followers and faith in the process? Hmm, I guess that's the impression she gave? The mood she had she had while saying was kind of like that. Though, right after Asuko saw through that and said, that's just some random bull. I see, if that's correct then... And that's Lady Suoko and Lady Hanako for you. Their actions have so much thought behind them, do they, though? Ah, uh, they haven't only thought about the fate of the Moria Shrine, but their actions are, will, will help the fate of religion for all of Gensokyo. Huh, how the hell did you see it that way? Well, I guess I should keep quiet about it. Let's come to this. It might be best for me to go back like a good girl and not disturb those two. That sounds like a good idea. I mean, it's really difficult being around here by yourself, no? That's true, but since Lady Kanako and Lady Suoko are doing their best, I can't go home empty-handed without losing face. That's it, that's what I'll do. In this great tree, I heard there's a dreamlike item called the Symbol of Fate that makes people become devout followers just by, from looking at it. Oh yeah, there was some mysterious item like that. We've picked it up before. Huh, good for you. They're rare, so it's, but I intend to return back with some of the... I intend to return back some of the... Say, Reimu, Marisa, do you have three of them? What do you mean, that green trend maiden wants to take our items from us? How disgrace, so I'm only counting on, on your goodwill in the end. Huh, three Symbol of Faith, right? We'll think about it if we come across any, as one would accept from Reimu. 
You, you're too good-natured pamping her like that. That's the type of thing that'll turn her into a useless human. Well, I'll be expecting you. I'll be waiting for the good news. Do I have three? Son of a catch. What are these? What are you talking about? These are symbols of faith. You're the one who wanted them, remember? Ah, oh, and so that's what these things are? Hmm, they have a shady appearance and they don't seem to manipulate human faith. Hey, why are you saying gloomy stuff like being shady the moment you receive them? No, that's not it. I, I, I am thank you, really, y'all. I'm truly, very truly grateful. I am thank you? I am thank you, yeah. Oh, no, no, I, I thank you. Look, I'm very, very truly thankful to both of you. That's right, that's right, that's better. Now then, we should be going. I'm so tired, it's about time we go back to the inn. With the amount of people we've got now, we won't be able to take it easy at the inn. It's gonna be so noisy. That's true, but, well, the bath there is so enjoyable, so we should go in together. That's true, the baths are nice. We can really get back into shape after being so weird from all that exploration. But I'm not going in with you, man. Mm, you you're just going to splash water me with no warning. That sounds nice. Say! Can I come with you, too? What's all this? this all, what's this all of a sudden? I know, look, it's like to repay my debt to you for bringing these, me these things. What's going to happen to the Moria Shrine if you come with us? There's nobody there right now. Oh, we well, see how to phrase this lady. Kanako and Leitsugo are still at it, so I'll come with you to search this place so that I can help those two in the end. What to do? Speaking of shrines, you should worry about how could a shrine before concerning yourself with Moria. There's no one there right now either. God, that's fine. We show our face once in a while. What a worshipper you are. Shut up. Well, fine. If you're su sure you want to come, Sana, we always give a warm welcome whenever we get a new member. Really? <laughs> well, then, I, I look forward to going together with you. Alright, more support characters get. Hmm, where are there more ways to go? Do I have to go down a floor to get around to the next section? Drizzlin. Through these stairs. Explore more of this floor. There happens to be more treasure, like an ultra-fast granite keystone. Back to previous floor enemies. More treasure. Magic iron shield. Reveal all the map. Shoot water on all the enemies. More water! What's going on here? That root's flying about like it wants some attention. Let me take a look at it. This looks like a plant that gives nourishment to other roots. It may be supporting the big root on the 8th floor. If we cut it down, we might be able to have an easier time moving around on the 8th floor. Why is that so? Mm-hmm. Yomu! I know. Honestly, I don't even really need to cut this down. You can all can just blow it to pieces on your own. Chill a bit, eh? Just get it done and over with and we can move on. Yes, yes. Just because circumstances are convenient. Whee! More water! More treasure. Big Bang Wave Cannon. <laughs> that sounds amazing. A magic thing, and speed. Whee! Alice, your turn. Alright, was that all that was there? Alright, where is there left to check? I believe the battle music's gonna change soon, right? Maybe next few floors? Get around the ball of hate. Alright, does this lead over on that other side there? Yes, alright, so that's not where we go. Aha, I cut through here. Alright, this boss uses wind spells, so you can use, uh... Manipulate wind to reduce damage with I. I just reset your skills. If you go to uh, the library, you can reset your skills as much as you want. Just make sure you don't use a Tome of Reincarnation. Tome of Reincarn Reincarnation gives you back all the money from, like, the things that you spend. The points at uh, Petulu's things, as well as any gems and stuff that you spent with uh, at the shrine. Alright, next box, weak to nature. I just want to be able to debuff for speed, so I guess this party can work. And we need wind protection. You can just use this for your defense. Oh, it gives wind. Oh, that's a lot of wind resist. Alright, let's give this boss a shot. Wah ha ha ha! Yes, it's that voice. Kensoko's hair and the master of the great tree piercing the heavens. It's the beautiful dual wielding swordsman Tenshi chan! We knew it was the moment we heard your voice. Just give us back the sword. With Ikunaga! <laughs> hey, Iku. Ah, oh, wait now, what's going on? Weren't you in the mood early to help us deal with the situation? Oh no, she was always my beating underling. Now, Iku, do it! Hey, you can get angry if you keep this joke up. Wait, myself, say that Iku's in is weird. My name, where your instincts are as sharp as ever. Well, whatever, Iku, I'm counting on you. So you're really saying she has been acting weird? I'm feeling it a bit now that you mentioned it, but we've got no choice but to prepare for war first. That's why we can't help, but let's postpone, let's postpone our theorizing and make her experience a bit of pain. Alright, so three phase fight. Where she buffs herself massively and it's kind of annoying. So you want to get through the last couple of pieces, uh phase as quickly po as possible. She can be debuffed. And she can be poisoned. She's weak to nature. Give her, give her some debuffs. More debuffs. Stack those- oh, she's, she's getting her ass kicked. Booped. Whoa, damage. But now she's gonna do that. That's magic and attack plus 100%. 
So kill her quickly. Because the next step she's going to do is going to fuck me up. See? That, uh, what is it? Poison's doing a lot of work, though. And she's dead already. That was quick. Ow. Huh? Where am I? Ah, she woke up. Are you alright? Can you understand us? Oh, it's the English group. Good day to you all. I'm sorry, this is- how did I get into such a state? Why am I on the ground surrounded by everyone? I also don't remember anything. You attacked- you attacked us. It looks like you can't remember what happened to you. I, I did to you guys? How can this be? Is it really true? That's more- Ah, it's true, but that wasn't much of a bother. What I'm more concerned about is how you lost your standing with Tenchi manipulating you. Lady Tenchi? That's right, Lady Tenchi. I saw her previously, but what happened with the eldest daughter? You came out together with her, and then she pushed you onto us to get past us. Now it's our turn to ask, what's going on with Tenchi? Hmm, well, there's not much to say. I noticed Lady Tenchi on the 8th floor. I chased after her as best I could, but in the end, she escaped. Then it all went dark from when suddenly I heard Lady Tenchi's voice. After that, after that, after that, after that, I... Hmm, no, nope, sorry, I cannot recall any events that took place after that. Looks like you're right, Lady Tenchi was controlling her with some kind of power. What is this, Hathori? I heard the voice of her heart, and I can tell she's telling the truth. She's not lying. She really can't remember. So we can take this as to be ten she's doing. It seems so. By the way, I would like to refrain from using me as your portable mind reader. <laughs> okay, okay, this will be the first and last time. Yes? Ah, that's nothing. Instantly, I... <laughs> Instantly, I don't understand what you mean by the state that I was in. You said that Lady Tenshi was manipulating me, but the eldest daughter never possessed such a power in the first place. I met Lady Tenshi on the fourth floor, yet not met nor seen Lady Tenshi, correct? Tenshi started a fight with us, and we and we got trashed to the ground. More like you started the fight. Shut it. The eldest daughter trashed you? Really? Your story suddenly stopped being believable. I would think it would be the opposite with you having gathered such a large amount of powerful comrades and Lady Tenshi being alone. The result would be as anyone I guess. I mean, didn't I trash her? We got involved in a bit of a troubling situation along the way. Iku, have you heard about the Ameno Munakumo? <laughs> Why are you asking all of a sudden? I know about it to a certain extent, like everyone else. Divine sword offered to the sun goddess Am Amaterasu by Susano, who took it from the tale of the Ayamato no Orochi. <laughs> then Amaterasu's grandson, Ninigi, when descending upon the earth, carried the sword along with him. That sacred treasure? Yep, that's the one. So that's what happened. That miracle working sword is now being carried by Tenchi, like right now. Eh? What? Is that true? How did the sword get into G Gensokyo? I had no idea about this. Well, that's because of this bad man. <laughs> I'm pleasant. I'm not a bad person. I'm just a victim of theft. Look at how confused Iku is now that she knows about the Amen and You can't just you can't keep trying to defend that. Keeping things like that undercover isn't anything dangerous. Or to have to spell it out for you. You really know how to hit a sore spot. Aren't you being a bit too harsh on the Inosuke? In the end, the bad person is the one who stole. Let's not let the story get astray. Fine. Let's get back to Tenshi's story. For sure, it was the usual Tenshi. I'm sure. We would have had no problem taking her on, but right now, with the help of the Amino Monoko, she we've got no idea how powerful her strength could be. She turned the tables on us in an amazing way because of that. And with the power of the Amino Monoko in her hands, she must have manipulated you. Hmm, this has turned into quite an unexpected situation. So even if we lost that one time, there's no way if we can leave that tension alone that... There's no way that we can leave that tension alone the way she is. For now, we've still got a, more to go before we can catch her. True, and I too cannot believe it... Cannot leave it as is. With how things have become, please let me accompany you. Sweet, new friends! With the state the eldest daughter is in, it doesn't seem like I alone will be enough to scold her. Since that is the case, if I wish to put that obstinate lady potentially back in her place, joining you is the best course of action. Yeah, I've already said it, but we've only been defeated just one time, but the next time won't go that, that badly. You have a strong heart. I'm Lady Tenchi's supervisor, not her servant. I cannot let things stand as they are now. Ooh, scary. It looks like this time Lady Tenchi will be needing a p great punishment, so please allow me to join you. Of course, we'll welcome you with open arms, right, Emu? Of course, good to be working with you, Iku. Likewise, I'll be in your care then. Alright, off to the end with you. Average level 20. <laughs> that fight actually felt quite a bit easier than I thought it was going to be. Alright, let's continue the exploration. We still have this entire lower right section to go. And more treasure to find. And more water to drizzle on the enemies. Forgot to re-equip this. Need more attack power. Found some treasure. Damascus Dredge Shield. That sounds defensive. Are you on defense about things? Nope, that's defensive. Looks like something like Tenshi would want. Damage! Reveal all the map. Connect all the little spots together. That picture is pretty gross. Alright, sub-equipment. Mana Flower. Wee Drizzling! Nitoris Overpowered! Treasure. 788 monies. Wee! More water. More treasure. 720 monies. Boop. Enough to drop one more load on the enemy's faces. Like so. Your turn, Alice. Trip that wire. We have stairs to the next floor. And we have the warp. Next floor is going to be another puzzle floor. 
Wee tripwire. And what's this plant? It's blocking the path. All the plants around here just regenerate after being destroyed. From the looks of it, there must be a deep root somewhere else. How troublesome, hmm? This little one, what did it, what did it say? Wait, wait, look. The bush withered in front of their eyes, creating a curved path for anyone to go through. What was that? I have no clue. Now this one. And this one. <laughs> Haven't cut through enough of the roots. Haven't gotten to the root of the issue. Here, have this. Paralysis. I think he's going the most roundabout ways to get to anything. What's going on here? Looks familiar. This is an ivy. It's gonna be rude that the insectivorous plant got like. Oh, time for another high height from Yomu. <laughs> that should be the last one, so I should be able to fight the boss now. All right, and there goes Ice Fairy. Bully some more enemies with Nitori. Get more treasure. Recovery armband. Water. Oh, there goes the Guya. More water. And more water. Check up here. Really now, what's with this? What's with the bad environment here? It's all damp. The flooring's all slushy, and it looks like the in intense scent of flowers and the mud's odor are mixing together. I kind of long for the peace and pleasantness of the previous stratum or the forest before it. Unlike the previous stratum, I wasn't able to use my powers. You would think that naturally. Ah, no point in complaining. In disturbing times like these, you only have to hold your heart in your hands and discover the beauty of nature in, the, in this environment. For example, look at this flower growing on this vine. Isn't it tiny and cute? This flower looks kind of gloomy and kind of withering to me. Oh my, it really is. It must be fate that brought us together. I should do something. I should be able to do something as a goddess of harvest. Hmm? This little one is simply suffering from lack of light. Originally, the plants around this place had bad exposure to sunlight, but the ones around here seem to have it especially bad. Daylight, if you need a sun, I can make one. Hey, really? Then please make a little one. Wait, Oku, your power is. Hot! So hot, I'm burning to death! <laughs> Oku, lower the output quickly! Huh. Is this better? That's fine. Wow, that was surprising. Wow, it's amazing. There's a floating ball of fire. It looks like a small sun. Well, when you think about it, this girl's power isn't much different from the sun itself. This ball, how long can it last? For the flower's whole life, probably. Well, that's really incredible. If it's like this, then this little one will become healthy in no time. Thank you! But Minoiko, do you really have to take care of all the vegetation in this great tree? Well, with the power that I have, there's no way I would be able to do that, but I can't be indifferent to the suffering of these, those children when they are all, when they are right in front of me, no? Ah, fine, now let's keep going. K, K, K. When he answers so obediently, it gives me a really bad feeling. <laughs> Why'd you say that? You guys are strong to nature. I'm not strong to getting booped like that, though. Boop! Should we just open it? I discovered the weekly training egg. Violent green rupee, glaive of pain. That looks pretty exposed to me. Alright, go save Mei Ling now. Back to floor seven. Hello! We've caught all four roots of the we've caught all four of the roots you requested. How are things now? Look at the plant now. Oh, it definitely looks weaker now. The mines look a lot more sluggish too. I think we can do this. So we just have to get Mei Ling out of here for now. Alright, wait here. Right, wait right there for a little bit. Here we go! Suddenly, extra enemies. Debuff. Debuff. Counter. Now let's get rid of all the ads. Now let's debuff your speed some more. Give you all the debuffs. How much debuffs do you have? Jesus. Alright, pound you. Boop. Nice attack, idiot. Nice attack, idiot. Alright, super scope! Jesus! <laughs> Suddenly, items. Phew! One such worst plant down for the count. We should drag Mei Ling out now. Alright, we're we beating up the plant. Most of the Mei Ling, <laughs> Most of Mei Ling was inside it. Mei Ling, you alive? No worries, she's still twitching. She's, all, she's always going on about her sturdiness and all. I guess we can just bring her back with us and add her to our exploration party then. Good for you, Mei Ling! <laughs> Poor China. Alright, now I need my wind and fire attackers. It's pretty much immune to nature and poison, so Riggle's kind of, Riggle's kind of useless. You can deal physical damage to it. Alright, so this boss uses dark wind and cold, so... Kind of hard to get, uh... Proper status resistances. Alright, we'll try. We'll see how this goes. It's probably gonna go poorly. Hello! I just uncover the area just by running past it. He can be debuffed, it's just a little harder too. Well, oh, okay, I actually did a lot of damage. Getting some debuffs off. Ow! Now start using weakness damage. 
Ooh, damage. Alright, please don't just kill me instantly. I need some pretty big dick damage to it. I also have some death resistance because this boss does do instant death with his dark attacks. Hopefully this takes it out pretty quickly. Yeah, okay, that wasn't that hard. That hard. <laughs> Colorful rainbow flower! Uncover the middle. Nothing else really in here, though. The thing was just in the way. Alright, so that was floor 7 and 8, so next time... Next time I think it'll be good to challenge an idiot again, so thanks for watching! Did you like this video? If you did, press that like button, leave a comment, and share it. You can also press the left button to subscribe, turn on your notifications, and press the right button to watch more Labyrinth of Toho. Thanks for watching!